Welcome back to Green Hell Story Mode. Okay, guys, so we're out here at this uh, fishing village area, and you notice there's the fishing pole right there, and I think I'm going to go ahead and learn that by dropping uh, one, one thing. We'll just drop one of our spears for a moment. We'll pick up the fishing rod. Uh, there we go. And now we've added that in. We've learned it. Great. We'll drop it, and we'll grab our spear back. And so that's good. And there's a bunch more stuff here. And look, okay, so I spent the night doing some stuff. Uh, I made a couple bone infusions. There's a spoiled banana there. I don't care about that. Um, there's a Quasiamara, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, destroy this spoiled banana. I don't want it there. And um, so, bone hook. Why? Oh, I learned all the stuff from the fishing bowl. That's what that those notes are. But there's a bunch more notes. Um, and this fishing rod, I need to actually move it out of the way here because it's... Yeah, uh, whatever. Um, so, and I made a quasi Amara potion just because, you know, me. And so, let's read some of these things. What, what do we have here? Uh, it's a notebook. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Jao is dead. The Yabawaka attacked us. No, it couldn't be them. We were attacked by savages with skulls painted on their faces. I can't believe it happened. They just jumped him. Blood was gushing everywhere. We only wanted to talk. They looked terrifying, like skeletons. They were like animals, like demons. We left J Joao here, or there. Uh, Blanca wanted to get to him, but you have to be crazy to go there again. The spear went right through him. I can't believe it. I lost my journal, all my notes, but I had to write something about Joao to somehow come to terms with what happened. Now, I must begin writing from scratch so that our work isn't lost, and Joao, uh, to keep evidence... I think we're safe for now. Almedia took us somewhere. We set up camp in a place that's supposed to be better in tactical terms or something like that. He's afraid that they may come after us because he shot one of them. Carlos hasn't slept in several days. He keeps staring at the jungle to see if they're coming. God, if it weren't for Almedia, they would have killed us all. Everyone's still in shock because of what happened. Blanca got the worst of it. No wonder they killed her man I can't even imagine something like that I don't know what I'd do if they got Carlos the group wants us to vote uh, if we should call it a day or keep looking for the Yabawaka but where should we go we can't go back to the city unless we go with the Alamedias to the border but that's a stupid idea there's no chance they'd let us through damn it Gerald had the map Wow, okay, well, poor jo Joao. I, I don't know how to pronounce those names. Uh, anyway, uh, let's read this. My name is Isabel Pinheiro Velo Velho, and I'm a nurse. I saw with my own eyes how my hospital turned into a hospice where patients are given useless IVs and everyone's waiting for us, to, uh, waiting for a miracle. No one's really trying to help, whether it's the doctors, the giant corporations, or the government. This is why I decided to do something. Together with a group of friends, blah, 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 blah. First day, something with that. Uh, okay, there is so much to read here, guys. If you want, pause the video and read it. Uh, but basically, this is, I think, detailing out how they all came here looking for better medicine stuff. And, um, yeah, trying to figure out how to communicate and, and get what they want and so forth but um anyway so that didn't work out for them let's open this bag oh painkillers i'll go ahead and take them because now i know they're for fever and that's good so we got that and then there's this bag and it's got a can in it um i don't know what the can does we'll leave it for now and um, it's probably just food but i've got plenty of food right now i've cooked up one of the cayman meats in like a steak form and then another piece in look there's charcoal i'm gonna grab that and feed the fire let's go ahead and put that in the fire here I want to keep this fire going because I intend to be here for a little while because I want to check out the surrounding area and hopefully not get eaten by Cayman <laughs> that would stink but um, here we are with all the oh there's another note over here let's read this I think we're getting closer to the Yabawaka Jao says that it, uh, he can clearly see signs of someone's presence he even found a footprint in the sand by the river I re read Higgins book like five times oh great so they read my book. They came out here. I hope they draw their blood. The last resort to maintain something and this and that. And surprise, surprise, today 
We heard someone approaching from the jungle. He, uh, something, uh, wife Sophia, daughter, and uh, something, the girl was running a fever. Carlos went, went nuts thinking about some stuff. Carlos keeps telling us not to trust Almeida. He thinks he's not really a policeman, but a BOPE soldier or someone like that. Uh, things are not that good with Sophia, though. She's terribly stuck up. She showed me their passports and said, okay, so there's some tourists coming here. They also apparently read my book, and they want to get in on the, the new medicine action and stuff. So, God, we just screwed it all up for this tribe. And there's a bunch of uh, coconuts around here, but I don't think I need them at the moment. Let's check. Our needs, we need some stuff, right? Yeah, a little bit of everything. So I've got some meat soup over here. Let's go ahead and drink that. Uh, and we've got a bone infusion. We'll drink that. Okay, and now how are we looking on stuff? So the meat's taken care of. Uh, we need lots and lots of water. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is we'll go ahead and grab these. Since we're still in the rainy season, I'll bring these coconut shells over here and drop them. And then they'll fill up with water for us. And in the meantime, I can go ahead and probably just drink this. This is full of clean water. I'll drink all of that. And uh, how are we doing now? I need some fats. We'll eat one of those. And we can stick this up here out of the way a little bit. And now how are we looking? I just need a little more water and carbs. And that's fine. We'll drink this water. Drink, drink. And uh, we can find carbs around here somewhere. Uh, do I have carbs with me? Oh, look. I, there's a plant right here. There's a couple plants right there. I'll grab that mushroom. <gasps> turtle! Turtle! I get a turtle shell. Yes! Good. Let's we'll harvest this red thing turtle. And that's great. I've been wanting a turtle shell. And that's good. Now I can boil a lot of water and give... Oh, let's take that bird's nest and place the fiber I just used. And here's a bunch of um, stuff. Let's eat that. And I'm not dirty right now, so it's safe to eat this stuff because my hands aren't filthy. And yeah, we're getting, our, we're getting all of our needs taken care of. This is great. Okay, how's our fire doing? We could probably use another piece of charcoal here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to come down over here. And now that I've emptied one of my bin... Oh, prawn trap. Yeah, yeah, good. We And there's prawns in there. Let's go ahead and take them. Why not? They're, oh, they're spoiled. Are they all spoiled? No, just look like one or two, maybe. Um, raw prawn, raw prawn. I, what, where's the spoiled one? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and fill this up. Though. And then we've got our turtle shell tortoise shell. I know it's a tortoise. It's not a turtle. Okay, but either way, we're going to use the shell to boil water like so. Right here. Let's spill that out, and now we'll do it like this. It's quirky. Alright, and then we're just going to cook that tortoise meat up, and then I think I'm just going to go ahead and boil this in the tortoise shell, and then we'll refill the tortoise shell. And then all of our water needs will be taken care of. And this, go ahead and do that. Wait, what? Fill it up. Wait. Oh, it's dirty water. No wonder. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's drink that. And we don't even need any more than that because we're yeah we're totally good on stuff. All right. So we'll wait for the tortoise meat to, to get done. This is. Let me just put that right there. Um, what else do we need? Nothing, really. I wanted to do some of the prawn. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and move this over here like so. We can move that bone infusion off like that. And this over here like that. And so that's now ready. And we can just shove a couple prawns up inside there like that. And this one's spoiled. We'll go ahead and destroy it. And we'll put this one... And we're going to destroy this one. Because we'll catch more prawn, right? Um, so there's that. And so we'll have the meat soup ready. And, yeah, that'll give us energy and proteins. And hydration, of course. And then the tortoise meat is cooking up. We can eat a little bit of this. It'll give us some more energy. And fats and carbs. And we'll eat the rest of it. And boom! We are doing great. We're doing great. So... I think I'm going to be coming back here tonight because there's so much... Oh, look. What? There's orange juice. There's 
Another notebook. Le okay, let's talk to Mia. What's up? Mia. They had a kid with them. I... You, you don't have to say anything. I guess I just had to share this with you. You know, they might still be somewhere out there. You don't have to come for me. Okay. Oh. Oh, yeah, they're probably not still out here. Let's read this note. Oh, it's a map. Look, what the hell kind of map is this? Plain, we don't know. It's a direction east. Uh... Mountains. Okay, this is their island. I. Uh, okay, we need to go east from here. I think. Oh, but we got new dialogue. Let's talk to Mia again. I found a roughly drawn map, Mia, and there's a plane drawn on it to the east of the camp. That's got to be a lead. Sounds like a plan. Keep me posted. Yeah, we'll do. Okay, and another note. Let's read Mia that one. I wasn't just seeing things. Yeah, we did see a plane at some point. A group of four people heading to northwest direction. Two men, two women. Their internal dynamics, just two couples. Young city folk judging by their appearance and behavior. No visible signs of sickness, probably healthy. No guns, machetes, knives. No knowledge of material arts. Only one of them looks like he could pack a punch. They're messy, leaving tracks and minor items behind. So far, no meds in their trash. Gerald needs, uh, leads the group, but there's no strong leader, loose structure. Carlos, muscle of the group, buffed up, but his behavior shows that he had no solid training, acts tough, hasn't noticed me so far. Isabel, nurse, doctor, must have at least a basic training. She patched up Carlos' minor wound, has meds on her, and probably more medical equipment. The other woman, she can tell apart poisonous and edible plants, but is not an expert. Basic training, an interest, a hobby maybe? They're clearly headed in a set direction. J.O. has notes regarding the route, but they're impossible to read from afar. They're planning to meet someone looking for shelter, smugglers. They're talking about some medicine, and one of the women mentioned it, mentioned bodies in a hospital. They show a clear interest in natives. They can't be dumb enough to try to approach them, can they? Findings of surveillance. They're harmless. The doctor could help Teresita. Uh, they might have useful information and drugs worth taking a chance. Okay, so, okay, now what? I've got, I've got something going on with me. It's probably leeches, right? Yep, yeah, of course. Now let's get rid of them. I don't <sighs> like going crazy in this mode right now. Yeah. There we go. All right, so another note. Somebody was, okay, there's orange juice there. I don't really need it, but I'm going to pick it up, and we'll put it over by the fire with the rest of our stuff. This stone axe, is that mine? Did I drop that there? I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. Let's open this bag. It's got another can of stuff in it. I don't care about that either. Um, I mean, this is all useful stuff that I might want to take advantage of later on, but for now, the forest is feeding me nicely, and it could load all these plants. Gotta go. Well, maybe not all of them, but at least some of them. Gotta go. I, just, I don't like all these freaking plants right here. Let's get... This is a bad, bad plant. Go away. And this one's got to go for sure. It just gets in the way. Alright, so what's going on over here with my meat? Is it all done? Yes. Good. We grab that tortoise meat. And I think we are in great shape to go exploring a little bit to the east. Um, yeah, this is dirty water. This, this is dirty water. But I've got a full hundred uh, bin of clean water. Oh, you know what? Just in case, I like to have a few of these mushrooms on hand, just for parasite reasons, because I, I tend to do stupid stuff. All right, but we don't have to hang out here any longer. There's empty cans. We got our turtle meat, tortoise meat, and uh, we have a direction. Right? Is this east? That is east. Okay, so we're gonna head this way. Oh, let's eat a couple of these. Okay, and we'll keep going. So, uh, Cayman, keep your eyes peeled for Cayman. Fortunately, they make noise. They do a hissy noise thing. And if they do it far enough adva in advance, then I should be okay. 
is to eat this mushroom. I don't want to actually hang out here eating mushrooms for too long because we got to go east. Yeah, there's I see more Molinadio over there, but I'm fine. I'm I'm okay. I need to probably check my armor and see how it's doing because we got that attack. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh my god! There's a puma right there. No, no, no. Oh my god. No, kill me. Don't kill me. You. Oh, god. Stab it. What? How in the world? Okay, I got a laceration. Where did that thing go with my spear in its head? Where is it? Wow. That was a tough kitty. Oh, there's an alarmadillo over there. I'd like to get that, but I really, really... What the hell? Oh, there it is. There it is. Huh. He ran away. Okay, wait, and my armor's broken. I've got a laceration. I need to fix the laceration here before I die. I'm bleeding. Oh, and I'm dirty. Crap. I should have just done the laceration first. What was I thinking? Okay, we're going to fix our laceration. Um, I've got ants on me, right? Uh, here, what the hell is going on? Let's do this. I know I picked up some ants. I right, dropped these small leaf piles. Where are the ants? Where are they? I don't know, but I'm going to craft up this and this. An ash dressing is good for lacerations. So I don't know where my ants went. I thought I had a couple ants on me, but maybe I don't know what happened to them. Um, anyway, so let's find our body part. That Oh, look at that. That's disgusting. We'll fix that up, though. And then, this spear go, is going to go right in that alarmadillo's head. <laughs> yes, good. We'll make another piece of armor out of that. Yeah, yeah. We're, oh, good grief. All right, let's grab that nut. Okay, yeah, here we go. Well, the laceration, uh, oh, the dirtiness went away, so I'm going to harvest this guy. Oh, boy. Yeah, this the whole adventure going in this direction isn't really um, doing me all that great. What the hell? Did I drop that? Yeah. All right. Let's get rid of these bones for now. Where's, there it is. I'll take that alarmadillo shell. We gotta grab one of these. No. We need to craft one of these. And do I have enough rope? I've got two pieces of rope. And this shell. That does that. Great. Oh, what? I've got a fever? Do I have an infection? What happened? Alright, um, let's check ourselves out here. Oh, gross. Look at this. That's disgusting. Alright, so we're going to take the maggots and stuff them up inside of there. And then we've got the painkillers. I'm going to go ahead and eat them. And it got rid of my fever. Great. Okay, so the yeah, that's going to have to be dealt with. Maybe because I was dirty when I bandaged, that might have been the, the problem, right? Well, okay, I've got a bunch of meat. <laughs> I can go ahead and go back to the camp, cook this, take care of my wounds... Uh, I don't need small leaf piles. What the hell? Um, but I've got my armor. Take No, I don't have my armor on yet. Let's let's do that. Let's put this... Okay, can I not put it on there? Right, show armor. Oh, that piece is broken. Let's get rid of it. And this piece will go on that arm like so. There we go. Now, hide that armor again. And we'll let these guys do their work. And hopefully, they will fix my gross injury there. I'm going to probably need more Molinadia. And I'm going to eat a banana. Why not? Okay. And here, see, here's, is that, oh, it's a log. I thought it was an ant hill. I was going to get ants to use for lacerations, but 
wow, this adventure is not working out the way I had hoped today. There's more Molinadia there. Yeah, I will feel more comfortable if I get back to the safety of the camp. Give me that mushroom. The relative safety of the camp, I should say, because I don't know, honestly, if it's fully safe. There's some more Molinadia there. Okay, let's just get back over here. What's going on now? Okay, now, that injury, yeah, it's... Wow, should I just bandage it? Am I bleeding still under there? I mean, the ash dressing should have sealed the wound, but... Yeah, it looks like I'm still losing health. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I don't know. But I am weighed down pretty badly here. Let's grab this. We can make some soup and stuff. And I think I'm just going to eat the soup here. Oh, my God, that puma. That really got me. He got me bad. I need to make sure I get a couple more pieces of rope, too. But right now, I'm a little bit weighed down by stuff. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drink that mushroom soup. How are we doing now? That gave me some sanity back. I need lots of water. And it sucks that I had to use up those emergency um, uh, meds, but I, it was worth it. It was, I think, fully worth it. Because now, look how heavy I am. I'm just weighed down with all this stuff. Let's go ahead and cook some things here. And I'm thinking maybe I spend some time doing like a smoker or something. We'll go ahead and move these things off of there. And we can cook up some meat. Just, just regular style cooking. We got the black caiman. Put that there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... What, how is our time on these? Let's eat that. Wow, yeah, that did me good. Give me lots of energy back. And then when that stuff is done cooking... Oh, you know what? We've got this over here. Let's go ahead and move that off there. Put this on there. We've got... Well, let's go ahead and fill up this bin. We can move now a little bit. How's our prawn trap? There's more prawn in there. That's good. Okay. Filling this up with dirty water. And then we'll go ahead and get more water going. Man, I wish the rain would stop. I mean, it's good to, that it's constantly raining because it cleans me and stuff. But then I kind of take for granted that I'm going to get all clean, like, automatically. And don't want to start taking stuff for granted in the forest. So we'll do that. I'll throw this mushroom in there. I'm going to eat one of those. And I think, you know what, I don't need to be carrying around this orange juice. We'll leave that right there for now. I, I, I'm thinking, you know, it would be a good time to start building some permanent, like, storage things. Because I'm afraid stuff is going to just vanish over time. Let's grab that, and that, and then this armadillo meat. All right. There we go. Stick that in there. Wow, I did not really make much progress today, did I? Holy moly. We're pretty much back exactly where we started, other than just learning a few things. But, hey, we're alive, you know. And we replaced a piece of armor with... So, oh, I'm going to take that campfire ash. Replaced a piece of armor with... Um, you know, I think I'm going to go ahead and just make an ash bandage. We're, let's do this. Let's craft up a leaf bandage. And another one. Uh, blade axe? Why, why did a blade axe entry just happen in my book? I don't know, but it did. I'm curious now to find out what... Why? What is that? It's it the three blades thing... I don't know, but there's some dry leaf right here, and I think I'll take one piece, just for giggles. And then this, we're going to craft with this. There. Now we have an ash dressing ready. And it appears that my wounds are all fine. How's our armadillo meat? It's done. Yeah, so we got plenty of meat and stuff. I'm going to drink that tortoise soup, or the mushroom soup, 
and we'll we'll keep doing I need hydration badly uh, let's just keep doing that we'll fill up again although do I have empty you know I'm gonna drink a bone infusion we'll just drink one of those and then I can move this here and it'll just gather water for us these are meat soup Kozumara okay how are we doing on other stuff yeah I just need water really just some water so, all right, we'll do that. We'll just do that. Yeah, you know, some days we make good progress, and then other days are like today. You know, I start to make a move forward, and then, you know, it's pumas. So, but what are you going to do? It's just, it happens. Uh, not that, but this. Put that in there. Alright guys, well obviously I did not make it to the east, but that's the plan. We're going to be heading east, and hopefully tomorrow I don't have to deal with another freaking puma out there. But you never know, because, you know, I save the game and then um, reload and, like, animals and stuff respawn. So, that's, that is just a, but although, my a turtle hasn't respawned over here, which is interesting and not necessarily happy making. Would like to have another tortoise shell, frankly, but um, we don't. We don't have another one of those little guys. Uh, that's that's the way it goes. It's fine. But we're gonna we're gonna be going east. But for now, I'm just gonna get hydrated and get some sleep, and we will pick it up from here next time. For now, thank you so much for joining. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please smash that like button. Leave me any comments, tips, tricks, recommendations, or death threats. Subscribe, share, and favorite. We will talk with all of you again very, very soon.